Not Waving But Drowning by Stevie Smith. Nobody heard him, the dead man, but still he lay moaning. I was much further out than you thought, and not waving, but drowning. Poor chap, he always loved larking, and now he's dead. Must have been too cold for him, his heart gave way, they said. Oh no, 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 it was too cold always. Still, the dead one lay moaning. I was much too far out all my life, and not waving, but drowning. So it's quite a simple poem. Uh, there, there's a literal meaning and a metaphorical one. And the metaphorical one is very interesting. It, she ta- it speaks of the death we suffer from being ignored, neglected, and rejected by one another. And when Stevie Smith wrote the poem, she said that she was thinking about an article that she read in the paper where a man was waving to the people on the shore, and they thought he was simply waving hello, but in fact he was, he was drowning. And she just feels like a lot of us feel like that in life. We just pretend we're fine when we're not. When one analyzes the first two lines, the first thing you you think to yourself is, how does a dead man lie moaning? Um, And when analyzing it, you realize that he's died emotionally, intellectually, and spiritually. Nobody's heard his pleas for help. There's this apparent contradiction. It's the pain, grief, and hurt and misery that's actually, um, you know, killed him. I was much further out than you thought, and not waving, but drowning. The drowned man's words uh, suggest he's out of his depth. He cannot stand, he's desperate. Uh, And the line encourages us to read the poem on a metaphorical level. The bystanders on, or, or onlookers misinterpret his pleas for help as a friendly wave. Poor chap uh, sounds quite glib, quite insincere and callous. Um, and, you know, the word larking as well, suggesting he's a merry, carefree sort of person, uh, when the opposite is actually quite true. Um, and it says in the poem, it was too cold for him, his heart gave way. His heart would have been heartbroken and given way that way, but perhaps the water, speaking of the literal meaning, was too cold too, and that's, and that's how his heart gave way. They blame his death on the temperature of the water, but it was actually society ignoring him. The emphatic denial of the person who dies, suggesting it was too cold, in other words, society was, all, was too cold, um, is, is what's highlighted here. And We've got extra information in brackets. Still, he lay moaning, contradicting the bystanders, um, quick and emphatic. There's a sense of finality, a mood of despair and pain. 